If you've been following me on Instagram, you will know that I am not in Scotland right now. I am in Arizona. I've come to the States for NAB in Las Vegas and we drive up to there tomorrow. But today, we have a location scouting trip because I've got a few shoots planned for after I get back to Arizona from NAB. Right now, I'm just packing up all the gear. I've got Chloe on the way. She should be here in about an hour, which should give me plenty of time to get all of this stuff in there. All packed, I'm getting a coffee. So when I said I was packed, I meant I'm almost packed. Chloe's still about 10 or 15 minutes out. So I've got a few minutes just to talk about power and what we're doing while we're out on location today. Cause we have, well, I have five cameras with me. I've got uh, the D800, the D750. I've got the D5300 that I'm shooting this on right now. And I've also got the Insta360 ONE X with me and I've got my little WeView 3D camera with me. So all of these are gonna be shot throughout the day at the various locations we find, and they're all gonna be consuming power. And as well as those, I've also got my two phones. So as far as power for the WeView, the Insta360, and the two phones, I've got my giant USB pack. This is, I don't know exactly how many hours it is. I think it's like 21,000 milliamp hours or something. Um, but it's got type C and type A USB ports on the top and it does fast charging. So I use my phones a lot when I'm location scouting because it records GPS data. But I also wanted to talk about camera batteries for the D800 and the D750 because they both use Nikon EN EL15s. And I mentioned these in the video I did for the Snapmaker. And if you haven't seen it, there'll be a link up there somewhere. I printed out new battery covers for my EN EL15s and I've got green ones and I've got red ones. So when batteries get fully charged and go in the bag, they all get these green caps. And then as they need to go in the camera, the cap comes off and in it goes. When the batteries come out of the camera, they get a red cap. And this way I know which ones are dead and which ones are charged. Because when you've got, well, normally when I go out shooting, I've got three cameras with me that all use the NEL 15s and they're all, you know, they're all using them at different rates. So I've got a bunch of spares with me and if I just, you know, if a camera battery dies and I just need to quickly grab another one, I can immediately see which ones are fully charged and which ones are dead and I'm not faffing around for five minutes trying to figure out which is which. So yeah, color-coded battery caps. If you can 3D print them yourself, go for it. If you can't, just find a friend with a 3D printer because every other person has one these days. Coffee should be ready now. I am gonna go grab that and then sit and wait for Chloe to get here. So Chloe arrived and we have come out for a bit of a drive around to see what we can find. And we have no real plan for today. We just know we have to find. Chloe's got a shoot that she needs to do in this area. And I've got a shoot or two planned for after I get back for NAB. We are at a place called, I think, Arica Road Trailhead, which is pretty crazy looking. I mean, for people who live here, it's just another part of Arizona, but for me, I've never seen cactuses like this just growing wild before. So to me, it's pretty cool. But I'm putting you away because the sun's out. And if you didn't know this already, Arizona's really, really hot. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, she's laughing at me. Yeah, so I'm gonna put you away and we're gonna go and explore. Maybe I'll pull you out when we find a cool location. As I'm catching up to her, she's walking more quickly because she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> but we've just finished walking around and it is really, really cool. We found a couple of amazing looking cactuses, cacti. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. It's really, really weird seeing cactus this big. Very cool. And uh, there's a couple of spots where I might want to come back here and do a shoot after I get back for NAB. But for now, we are heading back to the car and then we're gonna hit up Google Maps and see if there has to be somewhere. We're gonna see if we can find somewhere that might have some water around here. <laughs> I mean, I know it's Arizona, but apparently I've been told there is some. So we're gonna head over to the car. I 
All right, so we were driving down the freeway to this water thing and uh, we saw something really, really cool off to the side. So we thought we'd pull off where we could and find a spot to photograph it from. And I'm probably butchering the name of this, but as soon as I saw it on the map, it just looked like it said Pikachu. And that's what Chloe's always called it. And how long have you lived here? <laughs> Two years. But we've got the Manfrotto 190X video tripod here. It's the only tripod I brought with me on the trip because I'm going to be using it for NAB this next week. But it's great for landscape stuff because you can level the base independently of the head. So if you're shooting panoramics, you know they're always going to be on a plane parallel to the ground or whatever your level setup has. So what we're going to do first is just level the base and then we'll, we'll figure out our shot. I'm using the D800 with the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 art. So we've got this shot and it looks pretty cool. And I won't know for sure until I get it on the computer, but on the back of the camera, it looks absolutely wicked. Yeah, so it's about half three in the afternoon. So the sun's not super, super high. It's pretty high, but it's not super, super high. But it's creating some pretty cool long streaks um, down the peak. So we've got some nice contrast and shadow and highlight, which I really, really like on mountains. And I've got my, which way is it? That way. We'll go that way a bit. There we go. So I've got the new Peter McKinnon edition Polar Pro the um, variable ND filter on my lens right now. They sent me one of these to check out and play with, so there'll be a full review of this on DIY Photography in a couple of weeks. But yeah, I've been using it today and it's so handy. Especially going from indoors where it's really, really dim to out here where it's super, super bright. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, now that we've got this, I think we're gonna head back in the car and uh, see if we can find that water again. So we are back in the car heading to water. We, 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 we've looked on Google Maps and we seem to be finally heading in the right direction. However, we're not entirely sure what this water is. It could be a lake, it could be a sewage treatment plant. We just don't know until we get there. <laughs> but this is basically how location scouting goes when we don't really have a plan. We just load up Google Maps when we're in the car. It helps to, if, if you're the one who's looking for locations, it helps to have somebody else doing the driving. That way, when you're driving past places, you know, when you see something cool, you, you, can, you actually can look out for something that's cool. Because if you're on your own and you're the one doing the driving, you need to concentrate on the driving. You can't be getting distracted by everything that's going on around you. So we are currently <laughs> bouncing around the car because we, we had a look on Google Maps and we found the road to this water. Um, but it's, oh God, Google Maps has lost us. <laughs> So we want to turn, we want to turn left. Oh, this this one isn't turning to the left, is it? There, 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 there. Oh my gosh! Oh my lord! I don't think anyone's coming. I go, I can't see. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Oh wow! Now you can't see me at all. But we turned it to some weird, crazy dirt road thing. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. We turned it to some weird, crazy dirt road thing, and uh, what is that? <laughs> is this it? And <laughs> hold on, we want to go. Yeah, we want to go down here and turn right when we get a chance. Oh, it's right, so it's Pikachu Reservoir that we're going to. Oh, okay. So we're going to Pikachu Reservoir. But yeah, this is like the jankiest road ever. <laughs> like, hopefully the little car makes it. Because... <laughs> but all right, this, this, this could end up being a really, really cool shot because the sun on those mountains over there looks really, really right, nice right now. I can't show it you because there's, there's trees and crap going in the way. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once we get to the water, oh, no. it should look really, really cool. Right, I've got to get out and move a tree. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we've pulled over. We are not at the water yet, but look at that. How cool does that look? So we're going to stop and shoot a photo of that and uh, and then we're gonna go look for the water but we we think we've kind of sort of found the right road it's it's uh yeah i mean it's it's like proper desert dirt road it's oh awesome my God, my car is filthy. <laughs> the car's filthy but right we're gonna set up the tripod and we're gonna get a shot of these mountains there because they look really really cool and we can see pikachu peak that we were just at like way in the background so yeah we're gonna set this up this is awesome
so so we, we we've we've like found like the perfect location here because there is so much to shoot here like really cool little scenes oh, no. with oh we, we're not going to be able to drive over that are we no all right we can park and then walk a little bit because it's not far if like if you look on a map it's like two millimeters away okay <laughs> if you look on the map <laughs> yeah so but yeah this is this is how i found most of my locations it's like we, we just when we're driving around we just take a little side road off somewhere and um and see where it takes us and this is amazing <sighs> okay hopefully the, the wind wasn't too much on the microphone there uh we had the ac on because it is boiling today but we're gonna park up here because there's a big hole in the road and we can't drive past it or over it uh without killing the car or getting stuck and i don't think triple is gonna get down here no <laughs> so we're gonna get out we're just gonna get minimal kit and we're gonna walk yeah, there's, there's no way we're getting over that. Oh, well. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> so we're going to walk up that way. And then it should just be like just over that ridge there. And we should be there. So we're going to walk up there and, and see if we can find it. So it looks like the reservoir has probably dried up um, or at least enough that the water's way away from the road and it, it should be like right up to it according to Google Maps but we're not seeing any of it and we can't go past here because there's a sign saying no trespassing so this is as far as we're going but we're going to get another shot of these mountains from here because we've got a pretty unobstructed view save for a couple of bushes and uh, yeah, so we're going to do this, and that was a huge bee. That bee was as big as a hummingbird. Holy crap. And then after that, I don't know, uh, probably head back to the house and just maybe stop a couple of times on the way if we see something that looks cool. But, uh, but yeah, mountains now. We ended our location scouting trip there. We got a phone call, hey, let's go to dinner. So we ended up going to dinner, but uh, we think we found some pretty cool locations yesterday that we're gonna head back to when we get back to Arizona in a week or so. But it's the next morning now, and today we're driving off to Vegas. So that will be a whole new video. We're going on a road trip, but uh, we'll be in Vegas for a week for NAB, which I'm really looking forward to because I've never been to NAB before. But yeah, that, that's pretty much how our location scouting trips go. When this was my first time ever just randomly location scouting anywhere in the US for a photo shoot, but it's typically just jump in the car, head off somewhere and see what we can see. And, and, and you know, don't be afraid to take those weird little side roads. And if you see something that looks cool, figure out how to get there. Just follow the roads and stop along the way if you see something that looks cool. Don't get set on your final destination. Go with somebody, that way one of you can drive safely and the other one can be looking out for cool spots. So get out there, get location scouting, but do it safely, especially if you're driving. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any location scouting questions, drop them in the comments below and there will be a location scouting part two video coming up where I go a little bit more in depth into actually a more planned location scout but yeah any questions drop them in the comments below and uh thanks for watching i'll see you next time